Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by Noah's YouTube channel. You can call me Ted, and today we're going to learn how to install Pixelmon 4.0.4 .4 for Minecraft 1.8. And this is, I believe, the most recent version as of May 27th, as shown down over here by the date and time. Um, basically, we're just going to jump right in. This should be a simple process, pretty quick. Two downloads needed, and they will be provided in the link below. So the first thing you want to do is, I probably just should have opened this before the video started, but sorry not sorry. But the first thing you want to do is you want to run a fresh version of Minecraft 1.8. Now I did go ahead and do that for you guys because that, that would have probably just taken too long and would have taken too much time for the video. So let me just minimize that. Actually here, I'll close it. There. Make it all simple. So, your first step is you're going to want to go to this website and download the Forge Recommended Installer. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and put it on your desktop or wherever. You can open it in your downloads. I don't really care. Do what you want. You're going to click Install Client and make sure it's going to your .minecraft directory. Once you've done that, hit OK. Now, once that finishes up for you, it's probably going to tell you got, I believe it's 11 or 14 libraries. Um, I just pre-installed it before the video so the process would not take as long. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open your Minecraft back up. You should have a new file for Minecraft Forge. As you can see, normally you'll have a normal profile, a Forge profile, and that would be it, unless you had made other Forge folders like I did before. Um, you can edit your profile and do what you want. I'm going to actually go ahead and do something real quick. Okay, and we're done with that. Now, the next step in the process is you can run Minecraft, but the mods folder should already be there. Now, there are multiple ways to get to your mods folder. Um, I made a shortcut to my roaming folder a while back, but I have just so many directories. So, here is a secret that people don't know. When you go to edit profile, oops, didn't mean to do that, but once you go to edit profile, you can look at your options down here. You can cancel, save profile, and open game dir. I think I would be pronouncing that right. Um, but dir stands for directory, so you can go ahead and it'll take you right to your .minecraft file. So you don't have to do percent update or percent anymore, you can just take this simple step that I'm pretty sure no one else really um, has taken advantage of. But anyway, um, you're gonna go to your mods. Now normally, if this is your only forge file, you're gonna only have the mods folder, not 1.710, not 1.8. Essentially, the purpose of these other files are for if you have multiple versions of Forge. Um, some mods only work on 1.6.4, some 1.7.10, and some for 1.8. So there are a lot of people in the community that have multiple Forge files. Essentially, if you are installing Forge again, and you want to keep your old 1.710 Forge, you need to make a file for 1.710, and you need to make a file for 1.8, and that's the, it's just a very simple step, and that'll hold, it, it, it cleans up your mods folder, and it makes it so you can actually play both files with the client. Anyway, going back to the actual tutorial itself, the final step you want to take to install in this, well, this is not the final step, but the last download at least, you go to this website. Once again, it will be provided down, low, down below in the description. Here, you'll go ahead and download the latest recommended version of the game, which is this one. You click the link, it takes you to a, another website that you'll wait like five seconds and then you could download it. But in the end game, we're going to go ahead and end up with this Pixelmon file here, 4.0.4, .4, which is the version that we're working with exactly, uh, and you'll just drop that right into your mods folder or your 1.8 mods folder. Once you've done that, the last step is just to click play and enjoy the game. Now we are going to go ahead and go on to one of my test worlds that I made prior to this tutorial um, to see if it had actually worked. Okay, now that Minecraft is finally opened, we're going to go ahead and go to this Pixelmon world that I made a while ago, just to test and see if we were successful in our endeavors to install Pixelmon 4.0.4. .4. Ooh, finally got it. <laughs> okay, now as the world opens, uh, at first it may be a little slow depending on how well built your computer is, but this is just a regular flat world and we can see that we have trainers and all the types of Pokemon and of course your own Pokemon. And that lady, ladies and gentlemen shows us that we have successfully been able to install Pixelmon for Minecraft 1.8 in some very simple steps. I really hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And of course, if you liked the video, please like the video. If you didn't like the video, please hit like anyway because I know you love the video. Uh, please subscribe also if you wish to see more content like this. 
Now, yes, I did say subscribe. Um, I normally wouldn't push you guys to subscribe to me if you're watching this video. However, more content is hopefully going to start coming out more daily, more often, uh, I guess I would say. Because um, now my only pri priorities are Mango Nation and, of course, working, which is basically going to be my whole summer. But I'd hope to get this YouTube thing going, too, because, you know, I'd like to get more content to you guys because I've heard nothing but positive reviews. Um, but... I do like to answer questions, and of course, I cannot stress this enough, please tell me if there's a game that you want me to see playing. Recommend games for me to buy so I can get more content to you guys, because all I really have is just a bunch of um, how-to videos and some content with Iron Mango. Um, there will be a new series coming soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, also, there may be a Mango Nation server coming soon, fingers crossed. Uh, but. Hopefully uh, everything comes together and I can get more content to you guys whether that be other games PC only Sorry, not sorry, but uh, PC only um, But please recommend any games and I'll get you some content for those games Hopefully because of course summertime seems summer sales coming up pretty soon here So that might be pretty great, but at that ladies and gentlemen, I'll bid you for a while I'm gonna let you go and goodbye